Hello everyone, Absent Friend here, and we're back at the game table with Hades. If you remember last time, Hades was completely decimated by Hercules and his friends. Mainly Hercules, but uh, that's okay. We're back. We survived our little uh, trip into that uh, dark chasm with all those souls or whatever there were down there. I never did understand that scene. Did they tear him apart? Did they just kind of make it miserable for him for a little bit, you know? Hard to imagine that you, you can actually kill Hades, who will guard the underworld. So. Whoops. That's not good. All right, so we're just gonna do a little shuffle waffle here. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Turn one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Hope you enjoy what you're about to see, and uh, hopefully you'll be inspired to play your own games of Villainous. All right. Well, we got a pretty good hand, um, but I think these two things need to probably, well, maybe. We'll see. I'm gonna go here. Gain three, and for two, we're gonna go ahead and get Hydros out, and we're gonna discard that. And, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Go here, gain two, and go ahead and move Hydros. Gain three, or four, three, play Lithos. And, yeah, that's all we can do. Alright. Let's go, let's get, uh, our, uh-oh, really? Well, we have no choice. Can't play that, so we're gonna play Lightning Bolt, which means I'm gonna be trapping Hydro since he's moving. Uh, that's okay. All right, so let's head to turn three. Go ahead and head to Mount Olympus. Gain one, pay one to play Planets Align. Untrap him and move him. And, um, that's it. Turn four. Let's head back to the underworld. Move Hydros. Gain two. That's all I can do. Next fate. Bill or Hera. Well, we need to cover this action, so let's go ahead and have Hera here and trap him. Okay. Alright, so. Um. Well, that made it easier on where I need to go. So, turn five, head to the gardens. We'll gain three power. And, um. Let's go ahead and 4-5. Play, let's get, re or get ready to rumble. I keep wanting to say let's get ready to rumble. And move Lithos twice. And, um, yeah. Okay, cool, I know exactly what to do. Set this up nicely. 4-6, we're going to, or turn six. We're gonna move back to the underworld. We're gonna gain two. And we're going to 4-2, put this Mortality Potion on Hera, and then we're going to move Lithos. And when Lithos is moved, he may perform a Vanquish action in his new location. And since she is mortal, Titans destroy them without being uh, discarded. Oh, we're done with you. Okay, so there we go. I didn't have to discard Lithos, and Hera is gone. So... The, the next fate action is. Oh no, well, we know what we're doing with that. 
That's okay, we cleared up our moving space over here, so that is perfectly fine. Okay, so turn seven. One, or gain one, and. Oh, move with us. Turn eight, back here. Gain two, and four two. Let's go ahead and play. Oh, and actually, four three. Let's go ahead and play Pyros. No. Let's, yeah, let's play Pyros because he can unlock Hydros when he gets down there. Okay. Do I have any? I don't think so. I think I might need to fill up the discard pile with some stuff. Oh, even better. Okay. Um, but it is time to be faded again. Um, there are no allies, so we're going to use Pegasus to put Lithos. To move let those back one. All right. Okay. Turn nine. Now Olympus. One. So let those back. And I could use him to get rid of Pegasus, but I don't want to. And um, yeah, that's it. Turn ten. Back to the underworld. Game two. And four. Oh, we're gonna move Pyros. And then I'm going to play Get Ready to Rumble and just pay the two power to move him again. Okay. And here we go again. Oh no, not Hercules and Zeus at the same time. <sighs> well. There are already three Titans out. Hmm. I think it might be a good idea to play Hercules here. Sorry, Pegasus. And, um, that way I can't move those Titans. All right. It's tough whenever you get those good cards to come out back to back like that, and you really just don't know which one the best one is to play. But I think this is the best idea because now they can't be moved at all. From no nothing can move them. All right. So turn eleven. Hmm. I think we need to do this. Actually, let's go here and get some power. Gain three. So they can't move anybody. And for two, we're gonna play. It's the eye of the fates, and then and that doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? Okay, so um, ally or titan? There's an ally. Okay, that's a pretty good ally too. Turn twelve. We're gonna go ahead and go here. Gain two, and then uh, two, and then four two. We're gonna play pain and then we're just gonna have we're gonna move pain and Hercules gets moved with him all right so now they don't uh, and then we're just gonna move pyros to unlock or to untrap uh, what's his name there and um, yeah that's it however <laughs> um, Fators are not happy. Oh dear. Yep. Let's trap. Hmm. Let's trap these guys. No, actually that's not a good idea because once once those are trapped you can't move them if the go the distance comes out. So let's trap this guy. There we go. Okay. Alright, so there we have it. Turn 13. Um, let's go ahead and go down here. Gain one and four, two. Let's 
go ahead and get another tight now, just in case. And let's go ahead and move him. And um, that's it. Turn 14. Uh, I got all these terrible cards. I really need a discard. Yep, I think that's what we're gonna do. So that's what turn 14. Well, actually, I need to go ahead and move. So let's go here, gain two, and move. And let's go ahead and move Pegasus over here. Because when Stratos moves to a new location, or is moved, he may move a hero from his new location to an adjacent location, which is exactly what I did. So now I've cleared up that space and made that space a little bit better. But we're about to be faded again, and look, I knew that was gonna happen. Go the distance. So we're gonna move this guy backwards. Yeah, all right. No problem. We're gonna head here, and we're gonna discard all this. Oops, I think I put stuff in the discard. That is my bad. Y'all should be over here. There we go. Whoopsie. Game three. Oh well. I'm pro I could have played that condition if I had kept it, but that's okay. It was in my in my way. Oh, never mind. I get to play it anyway. Turn 16. Okay, so we're going to play this condition. I'm going to ha hang on to that. And then for... Uh, oh, we're gonna move. Gotta move. Gotta move. Gotta get out. Actually, we're gonna keep Tadros there. And we're gonna do this. Watch this, folks. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go move. I know this is kind of weird. We're gonna move him backwards to go ahead and untrap Lithos. There we go. And then we gain one. And then for three, we're going to play Argus. Alright, okay, and then we're going to draw back up to four, and before I get faded, I'm going to, um, well, I guess I could play Argus for free, but I have a better idea. Um, we're going to do this, and then we're going to, um, actually, yeah, this might be a good idea. Well, we'll see. Um, we're going to, um, since I had six power, I get to play an ally for free. And so, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. There we go. Okay, so. Now, he could actually take out Hercules if he wanted to, which um, probably a good idea at this point. So let's go ahead and do that. Wait, oh, now to be faded. Uh-oh. Yeah, because there's gonna be there's quite a few heroes coming out. So at this point it's a good idea to probably try to off some of them. Just so I don't keep getting the effects over and over. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, see, she has to be played there, and then to move the hero. That would be good with Hera. Actually, that is a good idea. Let's do... Megara here, to move Hercules there. Oh, wait a minute! I can't... Heroes can't be moved by fate cards. So that's not gonna work. Okay, so never mind. We're gonna play Hermes. Whew, thank you, um, Hydros. Ice Titan. If any of y'all have played Kingdom Hearts, that's the Ice Titan. Hard to call him by his name. And then, of course, there's our Rock Titan there. They actually have names, but I just find it fascinating that they didn't uh, name them that. Okay, so then I find Zeus and put him on top of the Fate deck. Where is Zeus? There he is. Okay, there's Zeus. I'm gonna shuffle though since I had to look for this thing.
that, uh oh. Okay, and then Zeus will be on top. Now, I don't even know why he's face down, but there you have it. Okay, so that was the fate. And I only have two cards because I did a condition. Okay, so. Hmm. Well, we're doing this anyway. Game two, use Nessus to off Hercules because negative one, he's four, actually. This is four. So, there we go. Now, I guess if you over use him to overkill, I guess that means you get that power, but I just needed to get rid of I guess I could have gotten rid of Pegasus and gotten some power out of that, but that's okay. All right. So, I guess I could play a card. So, what the heck for... Oh, we're going to move Stratos to move Hermes off of that location. And then for two, I'm going to leave Hydros right there. He may come in handy. Uh, I'm going to play Get Ready to Rumble. And we're going to move Lithos there. All right. So now we're, now we're cooking. And uh, I believe I gained my two power. I played my card. So that's it. That was turn 17. Okay. All right, we're getting kind of close to the end here. So we need to hurry it up. Move, Pyros, I win. Because I won't be faded this next turn. <sighs> there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Hades has won. So that's really what you have to do, folks. If you're playing as Hades, probably the best course of action is to get those Titans out and get them moving. Don't worry so much about what's going on over here. I probably wouldn't, unless you're playing a really, really fast... Uh, villain like the Evil Queen or Dr. Facilier or um, there's another fast one I can't think of right now. Maleficent's kind of fast uh, or can be. Old Maleficent, not new Maleficent. Um, there's a few others in the other boxes. So yeah, if you're playing any other fast villain as Hades, you you might have a hard time because you're going to spend most of your time fading. However, you will be spending a lot of time here. So it just depends. So try to get them in a, in a, back them into a corner a little bit and then use your spare time to get out. Or maybe it's just the, maybe it's best just to plow through and not worry about it, you know? Next time I play this game with some friend, with some real people, I may try that. We're, we'll just see if I just focus on Hades and doing his goal and not worrying so much about fading the others. Uh, maybe that's how you win with Hades. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So there we have it. Hades is complete. Hades is the winner. Every, uh, he rules Mount Olympus. Titans have decimated it. Zeus is in a coma, I guess. I don't know what happens to him. All right, so that's it. Hopefully, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And I will see you guys next time. Move on to the next villain. This is your absent friend, signing off.